This is Willem Ziada, New York City-based director and creator of theater, television, and film. And today I am thrilled to be speaking with the acclaimed multi-hyphenate artiste. She is an actor, singer, dancer, musician. She does it all. The one and only Emma Vielvik. But before we get to our interview, here is a sneak peek at Emma's incredible talent. This one is for my gals who my single sisters Hands up, fed up, trying to date the misters When they walk up to the date, 15 minutes late Hands on his phone, looking for an escape They may be tall, his small one's only got one ball But I want the validation, which is my downfall So I'll go put on a show, joke about my extra toe They always get a laugh, but I'm still bored though It's a motherfucking trip, looks nothing like his pick Shipment spreading at the table, he got mayo on his lip That's not the kind of dude I was looking for And yet here I always come back for more I mean, in New York there's hella guys Like mama mama my, so sexy and fly And sure, I ain't shy, but you can't deny The dating game is like an unpaid internship, so why I apply. Woo! Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Somebody please tell me what the hell the point is for all the single sallies that are so fed up because dating kind of sucks. Men will always make me run away, but I still get lonely, so I stay looking for that baby, that super date, baby, that lifelong mate. you i'm well how are you will emma i'm doing so much better now that we are finally meeting and i'm yeah. so excited that the audience just got a little sneak peek of the plethora of talents that you have talk to me about the impetus behind super date a mm -hmm. rap parody yes um great question i over quarantine right when the shutdown happened i started just doing these silly little wraps that are still silly but have some some uh meat to them and uh and i didn't ever make them in like a full production kind of stance and so when i moved i was like home for covid and uh with the parents and uh i came back to new york and i was like oh i, I really want to like feel creative again and things were just kind of at the beginning of i guess now we can say last year it's 2022 um things were just starting to open up again and usually when I write things, I just kind of like words come into the brain and I'll jot them down in the notes section of my uh, phone. And I kind of started doing that without thinking of super bass, the original song. And I had gone on a few dates um, in a pandemic, which is always a time. <laughs> and, um, and it's a time when it's not a pandemic. <laughs> and, and yeah, and I was just thinking about the absurdity of dating and meeting on dating apps. And, uh, I kind of created the words first and then I was like, I just heard super bass. It came into my brain and I thought super date. And then I was like, okay, let's do it. Also, I have, can I stare on here? I forgot to ask you. Can you. Do it, you can do it ever you want. Okay, because I was about to say like, fuck it, but I, you know. I'm gonna say for you, fuck it. Fuck it. <laughs> Emma, I love this unapologetic nature about you. You're obviously an artist that has done the work on their craft, but also on themselves. And I think that not only through this video, but just your personality, I feel like you're just very relatable. I'm curious to know, I don't know where this step, where, where this Emma stepping into her power, how that all happened. And again, we're just meeting. I didn't ask you any questions beforehand. I'm just feeling your vibe. Yeah. I, I think I've heard that before. So, and I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, yeah, I, I don't think that's wrong. I, I feel like I, uh, I don't know. You're asking what, why, why am I unapologetic? Will, Will what was the question? Will. Well, what was the question? <laughs> I guess my question, I don't really have a question. I just wanted to tell you, I think you're basically a badass boss lady. So we're going to move on from that. Thank you. <laughs> Emma, of the roles you've played thus far, um, are there any that stick out? So two, two hander. Of the roles you've played thus far, is there like one or two that stand out for you? And number two, do you have any dream roles within yes. the theater, especially? Um, roles that have stood out to me, Helena in Midsummer, um, just Ugh. got to be wild and I love Shakespeare. <laughs> and uh, um, both Shakespeare roles I've played, Beatrice from um, Much Ado and, and Helena. Um, those two, I guess, just because of their complexity like I love I love roles that are strong because I feel like I portray as you just 
observed meeting me, just kind of like strong and unapologetic, um, but also just deep vulnerability, which that's just fucking Shakespeare is it just goes up and it goes down. So that's <laughs> just how it goes. Um, and dream roles. Yeah. I, I think a lot of my dream roles in theater specifically, I'm not age ready for, but like Adana, uh, Mama Mia is like a dream. Um, do you know the play, uh, Heisenberg? Uh, yes. Yeah. The girl, the, the, the girl in Heisenberg. Yeah. Like dream, dream. Role. Oh my God. Who played her? I saw it in London. Um, oh my God. I forget, but I saw it when I studied abroad in London. Oh my God. Well, I just think that you also, I'm gonna add this to your list, ready? Great. It's a, it's a role that's yet to be written. Yes. I feel like you have, and again, you can be like, Will, wrong. I feel like you have a dichotomy going on that as a director is like my favorite. You have this dichotomy of, I feel like you're an old soul in that you have this regality about you, but then also I feel like you never lost your childlike sense of wonder. I feel like these two complexities of someone who can hold this, who knows how to, who knows how to hold a stage, but at the same time still like not saying anything, but you're like, what's going on behind their eyes? Does that make sense? Have you ever been told that? I have. Um, I've been told the phrase beautifully irreverent. And I think mm -hmm. I think that encapsulates um, yeah, it's hard as an artist to like speak positively and not be boastful. But I no, I I I agree. I think I try to approach a the craft and b just life with like curiosity and like yeah, there it is. Yeah, curiosity. But I do I do think I'm I've been told a lot I'm mature and I always rephrase that word and I say I think I'm grounded. Yes, there it is, and that's why I think I get the essence of like I can just see you holding a stage. You know what I mean? And on top of that, that's obviously though you know, testament to not only the work that you've done on yourself as an actor, but also as a human. And, um, you know, speaking of doing the work, I mean, I feel, feel like most of us have been forced to do the work these past two years, right? We've been still in trying to really realize, you know, what is our purpose here? And I'm curious for you, not to get all Barbara Walters, but I feel like, you know, we can go there. I'm just curious for you, Emma, like, has this time of stillness given you more clarity that you know part of you being on this earth is to pursue the art of storytelling because that's what you are at the end of the day you're a great storyteller Storytellers, yeah yes um i think it really reaffirmed why i originally wanted to get into this business which was that i like to make people laugh i think and I think seeing the shit storm of the last two, almost two and a half years, like, yes, great, like great tragedy. And, we, and like, we all have just really gone through it. But I think at the end of the day, just, I, I find myself saying over and over and over, like, we just have to, I just have to laugh. Like this, the world is fucking nuts. And like, it reaffirmed that my, my place in it like I, f I just feel the most fulfilled when I'm able to do that, no matter what it's through, whether that's a silly song or a silly thing I posted or an amazing role that I'm getting to play or, and that's not to say I will only ever strictly want to do comedy. because You find the humor though, but it's like one of my, you know, one of my favorite directors, Jerry Zachs always tells his actors, you know, look for the positive, you mm -hmm. know? And you look for the fun because as we know, like comedy is, uh, is, a, is in its relationship to tragedy, it's all one and the same. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I and I'm a, I'm a firm believer of that. Yeah, and I think, I think some of the best comedic actors or storytellers um, are the ones that also are, are the most dramatic because the, the comedy is in the truth. And there the it truth is. is comedy, whatever. The, no, no, truth no, no, no. and comedy, comedy, you're abs absolutely. It's that, like, it's that groundedness. And mm -hmm. you look at our best comedians. You all went to Juilliard. You know, I think of, you know, yes. Klein. I look at Robin Williams, may he rest in peace. You yeah. know, even the Meryl Streeps of the world, the Tony Collettes, these are grounded actors mm -hmm. who are like just funny because they just do a truthfully, you know. Truthful, yeah, because the truth is funny. You bet. Emma, you're funny, but you're also effing talented. And I could speak to you all day. 
I want to let the audience know for more on the incredible Emma. You can read more about her right below this video. Emma, I'm so grateful for your time today. Happy you're joining this amazing new app and also grateful that we're connected now. I know. This is so nice. You're lovely. You're absolutely Aww. lovely. Yeah. You are too. And I can't wait to collab on something. Let's put that out in the universe. Can we? Man I'm trying to man. I'm not a good manifester. No, I'm not going to say that. I'm getting, I'm going to be better at manifesting. You bet you are. You have it in you. Thank you.